Hello, my name is Mark Sege, and today I'm going to demonstrate Pronto Forms from AT&T. And as you can see on the screen, uh, the Pronto Forms is available on multiple devices, and today we're going to show it to you on a BlackBerry, which is what you see on the left, and also on the Windows mobile platform, which you see on the right. Now, uh, let's focus our attention on the right, where we are going to demonstrate um, one application where a uh, small landscaping a company transform uh, the way it did business in terms of tracking uh, all the lawns that were being cut in the field, especially as the management was uh, away for a period of time. They wanted to see what was happening in the field. So if you see on the main uh, navigation screen here, here's a menu. And if we go down into the menu, you can see there's actually a number of forms. And that indicates to you that um, if you have a business where you have a number of field processes and you want to transform all of them using Pronto Forms, then you could have multiple forms install on your uh, devices. Anyway, moving on, we're going to actually start uh, a new data collection instance for this landscaping company. And basically, one of the field workers is out there uh, mowing some lawn, and uh, he's going to enter a... Uh, a new instance of a form. So the first thing he would do is uh, give it a timestamp. And what, we, uh, what we're going to do here is actually change the time. Actually, no, this, one, this time is already uh, inputted automatically. It's the start time. But we're going to put a customer. Uh, and you can see here that there's an actual drop-down menu. And that was populated uh, with a lookup table from uh, this particular customer's database. So uh, you could actually take a database from your existing business and uh, make it into work with Pronto Forms. And in this case, we're going to say that um, we cut Andrew uh, McDonald's lawn. And if you go to the next uh, page, you will see that the address was automatically populated. And just to demonstrate that, if you check the address here, it's 1323 uh, Potter. If we actually had made a mistake and wanted to select uh, Barbara, you will see that indeed the lookup table did go and change the address. Now in this particular case, because uh, there was not much of a time lapse, we're actually going to put uh, a new time to show that was lawn was cut and completed a little later. And we, um, we did some lawn cutting and some trimming on this particular one. And uh, we're just going to send the form for processing. Uh, and at this point in time, what's happening is it the forms that, that was filled in the handheld actually uh, is being sent over the data network into a central repository where uh, uh, the management uh, could look at what's happening. The first thing that actually happens is that the actual form is sent in a PDF file to the user or whichever email address was indicated. And you could see that this is very much uh, the same information that would, uh, was filled. In this particular case, uh, I actually use a different record than the one that was just sent, but uh, you would have had the information uh, that you had just seen. And uh, this is very useful to bring a bridge to the paper world. Some companies uh, like to uh, maintain some of the old processes as they uh, transform their process, business processes. Now, the other thing that happens is in the um, uh, in the network, you would actually have uh, available through a portal to the uh, management team or whoever wants to look at it, um, some a few tools. Here you actually see that there were two users in the field. Uh, Mark Sega and Pat Dan Matt are the email address of these users. And then you could actually go and look at a report that would show uh, very quickly at an eye glance how many forms were filled in the field on a particular day. Uh, you can see the types of form here. There was an alarm response form, a landscaping form, and so on. And then below, you will see uh, the various users. So in this particular case, uh, one user had filled three, and the other user has filled two. So that gives you some useful information of what's happening in the field. And finally, if you wanted to actually collect it and take a closer look, you could actually export the data in a um, Excel spreadsheet. And in this particular case, you will see the data is exported you have a timestamp, who are the users, Mark and, and Daniel in this particular case. And then you get a, uh, in generic time uh, stamp, because you may have users in different times of the, uh, the time where it started, the time where it uh, completed, uh, the, the name of the person, the address, as well as whether uh, lawn was cut and trimmed. So uh, very quickly, you could get all of your information uh, available uh, from the field. Uh, accessible instantaneously to the management. 
Now I'm going to move on to the BlackBerry and show you very quickly uh, some of the capabilities that you could put in a form. And to do so, I've actually um, selected a form that's called Pronto, Pronto Form uh, Functional Demo. And in here, what you're going to see, and we're just going to walk through very quickly uh, the various type of field. At the top, you could see a checkbox. In this particular case, you check it or uncheck it. And you could set some default. The time, you could change the time. On a drop-down menu, we saw how it worked in the previous form. Uh, you just push in, uh, on the um, on the field hill, and you'll have a different uh, number of sets. One of the very interesting features available on uh, on Pronto Form is uh, geo stamping. So by pushing the get location, it would actually get your GPS location and make it available into the form when you uh, submit the form. And that way, uh, the management uh, in, in back at the office could actually check the location of where everyone is, but at the same time as having a location of uh, the particular area you're visiting, and you could do some uh, reverse lookup uh, of addresses or customer name from that. The next type of, uh, of uh, feel is a radio button, and it's basically one of those uh, uh, little round circle, and you can select one of those three, and it's exclusive. You can only select one of the three. The next one is a text area, which is actually an area where you could fill in a lot of text. And and uh, a smaller one is called a text box. And finally, the last one is um, take a picture, or actually there's two more. Uh, take a picture uh, would allow you to uh, actually uh, push the take picture button. It would allow you to take a picture, and it would put the file name in which uh, the picture is taken right here in this field. And from there, you have a picture attached. That's particularly useful in certain applications where it's uh, very tough for your field uh, workers to capture the moment, uh, whether it's an inspection or uh, taking a picture of a, a particular merchandising job they would have done. So that's very useful and very powerful uh, to attach to your form, and it's in one simple location. And finally, the multi-select field, which allows you to select multiple ones of these uh, field, unlike the radio button, which was a circle that only allowed you to pick one. So. Um, that puts an end to our demo. Uh, it was a very quick overview, but it shows you, on one hand, um, the functionality end-to-end -end that allows you to data, capture the data in the field and make it accessible in the uh, central repository in the network uh, instantaneously. And the other part of the demo showed you how you could personalize your own form to transform any business processes you have in your organization today.